Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here in Zoo Montana. Beautiful spring day today. And today, I want to talk about this little cutie inside here. He's being a little shy, but that's all right, because I want to tell you about this guy. He's pretty special. Of course, you guys recognize him as a red panda, but you might notice he looks maybe a little bit different. It's because he's so old, but he's doing really good. And the exciting thing is, the reason I'm talking about him today, his 20th birthday just recently happened. He is the oldest red panda in all of North America. And if you remember, I know it's summertime, but if you remember from school, North America, like the United States, Canada, and, and down, it's a big area. He's the oldest one. And get this, we think maybe, just maybe, he's the oldest red panda in the whole wide world. We know there was one in Japan that was 23 years old. He sadly just passed away. So that might make this guy the oldest one in the world. We're trying to figure that out right now. But, of course, with age comes a lot of things that aren't very good. Like, first of all, eyesight. You might notice his eyes look a little different. It's because he's blind. He lost his eyesight with old age, so he can't see very well. He also can't hear very well. And just like a person, he's losing a little bit of his hair. Now, the good news is, other than that, he's doing pretty good. And we have no reason to think he's not feeling good because he's eating really well, he's going to the bathroom really well. And the cool thing is, his partner inside here, her name is Zoe, she's actually keeping good watch on him. And get this, keeps him out of trouble. If he starts walking towards something like the pond, and you know, that's not good if you're blind, you fall into a pond, not a good thing, Zoe makes sure he doesn't do that. That's pretty cool. Now you might remember I've talked about red pandas before. What a neat animal found up in the mountains of China and, and Asia, that area. They've got a specialized thumb that allows them to hold bamboo and that's generally what they eat is primarily just bamboo. But my gosh, when you're here, take a look at this guy, Taylor. He does like to hang out in this igloo quite a bit, but if you're lucky, if you get here early enough, you'll see him doing his rounds. He loves to walk around the exhibit and he likes to mark his scent, which means he he likes to go to the bathroom in little places so everybody knows that it's his house. Even as he had, at his old age of 20 years, he still owns this chunk of land. Pretty cool thing. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff with Taylor the Red Panda.